I think the, the Russian invasion in Ukraine was an enormous geopolitical shock for Europe, which they didn't expect, which gave a sentiment that what is sometimes called the geopolitical holiday of Europe is over. And I think it, it exemplified for many leaders in Europe the need to think through again what it meant for European unity, how to shield the security and how to support the Ukraine. I think the enormous consequences of the war was immediately how to position Europe, both in its relationship to the Ukraine and Russia, as to the United States, because as you know, there still is an enormous security dependency of the United States, which was exemplified very much by a strengthening of NATO and also the immediate need, uh, at least as perceived by European leadership, to help to defend Ukraine without going into the escalation of making it a war between NATO and Russia. So that means enormous practical issues immediately. I think the European Union, and this was to the surprise, I think, of President Putin, but also maybe to the surprise of the Europeans themselves, led, I think, to uh, the sense that this is not only an interstate war in Europe, it's also a hybrid warfare. So we have to deal on common energy policy. We have to deal with sanction packages. Uh, towards uh, the Russian Federation and enforce them, which is not always successful. Uh, that it was important to support munitions. There was discussions in Europe for the first time in years after this geopolitical holiday of sending tanks and who would take the leadership in this. And the discussion on NATO is fascinating. First of all, NATO is strengthened. NATO is enlarged. You see the geopolitical lines in Europe will be sharper, which is obviously also a big risk because we see not an iron curtain, but we see an enlargement of NATO and at the same time a group of countries that are clear to make a choice in where they stand. So you could say that this geopolitical shock immediately led to a strengthening of European cooperation, an enlargement of, of NATO, a strengthened cooperation in the West, and at the same time, maybe, paradoxically, that the West became more united because of the urgency, it didn't show immediately that the West itself had a larger influence in the world. Because, as you know, in many other parts of the world, there were more ambivalent relationships and reactions to the war in the Ukraine.